Biotechnology is an applied science. It is when we take technology, platform or a tool, and we manipulate a living organism or processes in a living organism to produce a desirable product that can be used in manufacturing, in healthcare, in food or fuel. I think the biotechnologists would identify a particular problem that needs to be solved. They will then take the tools available to them, platforms that are available in science, like genomics, proteomics, uh, informatics, and manipulate a process or a living organism to try to address the problem that is in front of them. I think biotechnology has a bright prospect in the country. It is a growing industry. If you look at the directions of research, the directions of the Malaysia plan, there is a focus on food security, fuel security, healthcare, manufacturing. In all of these areas, there is a growing need for biotechnology, high-impact research using technology and the tools in biotechnology to improve our daily lives. So for example, food security. Biotechnologists would try to manipulate certain crop species to make them more resistant to pest, for example, resistant to drought, or maybe to just increase yields from an acre of land. And if you look at manufacturing, there is a need for biotechnologies, the use of technology to manipulate living processes or organisms. And we hope to produce new materials which are building blocks for manufacturing. There is also a need for looking at how some of these organisms can help break down manufacturing waste, for example. And that's going to be very important moving forward. I think there are three important features that I'd like to talk about. First of all, we have a strong core program in the basic principles of biotechnology. So for example, there's fermentation, there's molecular biology, there's cell biology, there's research management. The second part, which is introduced at various stages during the program, is to train students to be skilled in the use of their own natural talents in presentation, in communication, in writing. And the third important point would be that our program offers the students an opportunity to explore in more detail a particular area of biotechnology. These would be our minors. So for example, we have a minor in drug discovery, we have a minor in microbiology, and students that choose minors would take a series of modules that give them greater depth of knowledge in that particular area of specialization. And I think that's very unique. First of all, I think we've got a fantastic campus. It's a conducive environment for students to study. Second of all would be our drive to continuously improve the facilities that we have. I think we've got a great set of facilities, but every year we strive to go better by purchasing more equipment, by purchasing more modern equipment, a greater variety of equipment, and this is to allow students more hands-on experience, especially in the practical sessions. And an important feature of our program is the minors. A minor is when a student chooses a particular area of specialization where they want more knowledge. For example, we have minor in drug discovery, we have minor in microbiology, or even entrepreneurship. Now, a student who chooses a minor will then take a series of modules that will give them greater depth of knowledge in that particular area. That's an interesting question. I think not all students are tuned towards setting up their own business. 
But I think what we do is we provide our students, first of all, with a very strong foundation in basic biotechnology principles. Second of all, we provide them the opportunity to explore their talents. And for those that want to go into business-oriented careers, we have a minor in entrepreneurship. And I think an important point I want to make is that for the minors in entrepreneurship, we work closely with the School of Business, and this provides students an opportunity to leverage on School of Business at Taylor's, which is a very strong school. And I think that's an important, unique point. I think a graduate in biotechnology has various opportunities available to them. Uh, first of all, they can look for jobs in research. And research nowadays requires workers with strong basic principles as well as skills in conducting research, which we provide to our students. The other set is manufacturing. Manufacturing can be in food manufacturing, it can be in the agriculture sector, or it can be in the environmental sector. And in any one of these areas, there is a need for graduates, first of all, who understand the use of technology in any of the biological principles. And second of all, we give them the soft skills to fit into what employers want.